Hi there, welcome to my review of the Tom Bin Yarn Stuff Sack. My name is Krista, I'm a knitting designer, a knitting fanatic, and a general all-around fiber enthusiast. Um, let me show you the one that I've had for about five years. Um, a while ago, the owner of the yarn shop in my background, which is, this is three bags full in Vancouver, the owner is a wonderful woman named Francesca, and she and her daughter are very, very lovely bosses. They gave us the Tom Bin Swift, it's a bag specifically designed for knitters, as staff Christmas gifts a number of years ago, and this came with it. And since then, I've been using this as the bag that just always has the yarn and needles that I take to private lessons when I'm going around the city and heading to cafes to meet people and teach them how to knit. So it looks pretty good, hey? Let me hold this up beside a brand new one. The brand new one has a tag. This also has to be happens to be one of the brand new ones that has the option of a clear bottom. But without looking at that, you know, this fabric looks really good. It's made in Japan, it's called Dyneema. It is lightweight, it is strong, it's called ripstop, and that's specifically because the little square checkerboards have to do with the way it's woven, and those are to prevent pokey things, like, say, knitting needles, from going through the fabric. Now, I'm gonna show you the inside of my bag for a sec. Rustle, rustle. And you can see, like, all of Tom Bin's bags, there are no exposed edges of the fabric, so everything gets covered in seam binding, and they actually continually make improvements. So the original design had this as a yarn guide, so you'd put your knitting in, you'd run the yarn end through this and start knitting, and so your ball would be secure inside, your knitting could come outside, but the ball wouldn't ever go flying. However, because this is, was a closed loop, you were stuck with just one project in your bag until you were done. So the new innovation, along with having the option of having a clear bottom so you can see what yarn you have, is instead of a closed loop, it has a carabiner clip, which is awesome. So now you can take your project out, you can clip whatever strand of yarn heading to your ball inside the sack through the clip, and once again, it'll be safe and secure. It won't leap out onto the floor of a bus as you're climbing off the bus and walking away and having the bus driver honk at you. Yes, it's happened, maybe more than once. Um, other cool things that you get is now there's color options. This is ultraviolet. This is Iberian red. This is solar. And then this is the very classic steel that has always come in. If you buy a Swift, you get one of... Sorry about the rustling. If you buy a Swift, you get one of these. So that's the medium size. You get the one with the clear bottom. If you buy the little Swift, you get... I don't have it with me because it's attached to my little Swift at home, but you get one of the tiny sizes with a solid bottom in steel. So if you want the pretty colors, you have to buy them separately. That's not a big hardship, is it? All right, things that they can contain. This is one of the little tiny ones, which they call it the small yarn stuff sack. And in it, I have about 200 yards of a DK weight, really nice yarn from the Isle of Skye called Chilazdare. Natural dyes, I'm making a cowl but that fits really nicely into the small sack that I just dropped on the floor. So with that, it's in, it's secure, the zip cord holds it all in place, and that's well, well stuffed. In the medium size, this is the standard one that comes with the Swift. I have two giant balls of Noro Kira, uh, no, this is, this is Hitsuji. This is their bulky yarn, but it carries two bulky yarns in there pretty happily. Now, if you do big projects, just dropping all the extras on the floor, the tall stuff sack, in the medium and the tall, you have the option of ordering the fabric bottom, which is a little bit more lightweight, a little bit more compressible when they're not actually stuffed full with yarn, or the clear ones. Um, the smallest size only comes just in the fabric bottom, you can't get the clear, but we're talking about the tall. This one has six skeins of mountain mohair, which is from the Vermont a uh, mill called Green Mountain Spinnery. Fabulous company. Again, they're really working on keeping jobs local. Lovely, fluffy. Um, if you are a person like me, I am in the extra large to 2XL size. You probably won't get a full size sweater, but you, this one, which is also a tall size with the clear bottom, has a complete smaller sized adult sweater in it. See? It can be done. This is, again, actually made with some more of that really beautiful luscious yarn. So these are fantastic ways to keep your projects organized. If you do like seeing what you have on hand, you can put these all in your, 
<laughs> all on your bookshelf with a clear side facing out so you can just easily decide what you're going to grab at any given time and go. Or if you like to have a little bit more flexibility, this clear stuff is awesome but it doesn't scrunch down quite so well, it's a tiny bit heavier. Um, or maybe you need to keep your project secret because it's coming up to Christmas, like it is right now. Um, but they're wonderful. They're awesome. They're fantastic. And they go really well in all of the knitting bags that Tom Bin makes, like the Swift, the Little Swift, and my personal favorite, which is actually a messenger bag. But it's wonderful. It's the Imago. So I love Tom Bin bags. Hopefully you do too. Um, if you haven't seen them before, go down to visit them in their factory in Seattle where everything is made locally. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to take my enthusiasm elsewhere for a little while. You can find me on Facebook, you can find me on Twitter. Please let me know how you like these reviews and if there's something else you'd like to see, get in touch. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.